Well, Supreme Court justices have issued a major ruling in an election case. The court found a redistricting plan in North Carolina went against state law. North Carolina's top court initially struck down a congressional districting plan, calling it excessively partisan. Legislators argued state courts shouldn't be able to rule on congressional maps and asked the Supreme Court to grant them the power to set rules for voting and elections. We're still awaiting several other major decisions, including one on affirmative action discrimination, and President Biden's plan to forgive student loans. But to discuss the one that came down today, joining us now is Dean Emeritus and professor at the University of Michigan Law School, Evan Kamniker. He's also the co-author of the amicus brief submitted on behalf of the Conference of Chief Justices about the North Carolina elections case. Uh, great to have you today to discuss this. Um, so while the Supreme Court... Here upheld the North Carolina court's decision. Uh, that has obviously uh, an important impact across other potential similar cases, but the justices did suggest that there are limits on what the courts can do, what state courts can do, and that's what this case was about. Um, can you talk to us about what those impacts could be for other uh, states with uh, redistricting, uh, with efforts having to do with redistricting? Sure. This was a major decision, a bipartisan decision. Uh, frankly, democracy dodged a bullet today. Mm -hmm. The theory that was propounded here is that state legislatures and legislatures only get to decide all of the rules about how to structure elections for congressional offices and by inference also how to choose presidential electors in presidential races. What the court held clearly is that state constitutions can put boundaries on what state legislatures can do. So in this case, basically, what they held was if a state constitution prohibits partisan gerrymandering of districts, for example, well, then the state legislature has to live with those state constitutional rules. Uh, the state here was arguing that it was free to enact whatever kinds of districts it wanted to, notwithstanding what the state constitution held. So the first holding is that state constitutional rules and state governor, uh, let's say, vetoes can control what the state legislature does. So Evan, the second question oh, is, go ahead. well, the second question is what happens with respect to normal interpretations of state law? And this is what was at issue in the 2020 presidential elections, where some people were arguing state courts had strayed too far from the written statutes in expanding opportunities to vote in the face of the pandemic, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. The court didn't directly address those questions. Uh, it made clear that maybe another day it will have to decide, uh, are there any limits on state court interpretation of state law? Basically said, as long as the state courts follow their ordinary rules for interpreting statutes, uh, they should be fine. And only if states, quote, impermissibly distort state law, uh, would those state courts be acting out of bounds? So, Evan, in addition to today's decision, yesterday the court also ruled on a gerrymandering case out of Louisiana, restoring a ruling that Louisiana's congressional lines likely limited black voters in the state. I want to get your take on, on what these two election cases tell us about the ideology of the Supreme Court when it comes to redistricting and election laws. Right. It's very interesting. Um, yesterday's case had to do with states, uh, sorry, federal statutes, the Voting Rights Act. Uh, there was another important decision a couple of weeks ago where the Supreme Court, in a bipartisan way, uh, reinforced the Voting Rights Act and its ability to, to require states to be fair in the way that they draw lines. One thing it's showing is despite the clear move towards the right of this conservative court, there still is at least a centrist move to say, hey, we've got to be careful about rules governing democracy. Mm -hmm. And whether it's a constitutional case like today's or a statu statutory cases, case like yesterday's and two weeks ago, the court's basically saying, let's be careful here. When we're talking about the foundational rules of democracy, uh, we have to make sure that all people have a fair opportunity to participate and to have their votes counted. We'll have uh, much more discussion coming up on this subject. In the meantime, Evan Kamniker, thank you so much for that. Thank you.